Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Julie and I do handbag reviews. And if you're not new, welcome back guys. It's so great to see you. So tonight I want to review a fantastic bag that I, I brought into my collection. Oh, it was back in the fall when I first bought the first one of these. And then I just recently picked up another one because I absolutely loved it. And you know me, whenever I love a bag, I usually buy it on repeat. Um, okay, so the bag that I'm gonna be talking about is the Bandit Shoulder Bag by Coach. And I have this one in the chalk that I did get. Um, I picked this one up down in Texas when I was with Erin, um, the handbag housewife. So we were together down in Texas and this was the bag that I brought home with me from that trip and it's in the color chalk again, and then used this one for a few months and loved it so much that I picked up this one just recently in the color sport blue, and it has the silver hardware with it. And you guys, just having both of these in my collection, I just absolutely adore both of these shades. And because whenever you love a style, again, so much, and it just works so well with your lifestyle and um, it fits just the right amount um, you know why not go ahead and get another one that you just you know want to rock and it's a totally different color so I find that both of these colors are good year-round um, for sure because I wear chalk all year round um, I don't feel like chalk's just spring summer I feel like it's all year round because it's a warm white. And then blue is definitely all year round. Um, and it is my absolute favorite color, period, cobalt blue. Um, so yeah, I've got both of these and I couldn't be happier. So um, first to start off with, I'm just gonna kinda go over some of the specs on the bag and then tell you a little bit about it. Um, and then I'm gonna show you what all I fit inside of mine. So the Bandit comes in two sizes. This is a larger of the sizes. This is called the shoulder bag. They also have the crossbody size, which is only about to here, from here to here, and it's shorter. It's darling, it's a cutie pie. Um, it doesn't fit, but maybe like three to four things in it. This thing is gonna be more of a small to medium sized bag that will hold most all of your daily essentials. You may have to downsize a little bit, um, but I'm gonna show you how I kind of use mine and you'll kind of see that you really don't have to downsize that much. Um, it's great, this bag's part of the 1941 collection. It does have the um, horse and carriage hang tag signifying it's a 1941 bag. Um, this bag is made of full grain leather um, it does say that on the inside here that it says um, genuine full grain leather, if it'll focus there. Um, this leather, you guys, is the sturdiest leather I have ever felt by the brand. It's thick, it's dense, it's just very, very it's stiff, okay? This is not a smushy bag. If smushy bags are your thing, this bag is, it's not even close to that. This is an extremely structured bag with a little bit of give in the accordion. So, um, but just know that this leather is phenomenal. It really is. Um, on the front, you have the Coach C here at the bottom, just a smooth, um, flap here on the front, on the sides. You can tell here that it does have a room for expansion. Here's the main body and then there's two pockets, one in the front and one in the back. On the back of the bag, you do have a slip compartment here and it is lined in leather as well. It does fit a regular iPhone with a case and it fits in there just fine, like so. If you have a Max or a different style of phone, it should still fit. There's still room to, um, you know, work with the larger size cell phones. And then here's this side. So 
I have my strap for this bag kind of tucked around and it's tucked inside the bag. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and show you the strap because the strap on this bag is what really kind of makes this bag super unique. So on the very top you have these um, ways to like fish the strap through, okay? See how you have this loop here and this loop here. And so you can take the strap completely out and put a hook and strap, like with the dog leash clips, you can hook a new strap to this bag, or you can just utilize the one that it comes with. When you have it fully extended like so, this would be a very long shoulder bag or crossbody. Um, or you can just grab this right in the middle and pull it through and then you have a shorter shoulder bag. I have mine on the extreme longest setting, okay? Um, this has one, two, three, four, five, six adjustments, seven. There's seven adjustments for this um, crossbody bag or for the strap. So um, it's great, like if you're petite, it will work. I think if you're taller, it definitely should still work. So, um, but it's just so easy just to go from short shoulder, now you have it crossbody. And that's the great thing about this bag is the versatility. It's, it's great. So on the inside, I wanted to show you two, no feet on the bottom at all. Okay, there is a lot of glazing all over this bag, I will say. This chalk bag has the dark black glazing. Um, one thing I kind of noticed is that this one that I bought at Nordstrom, I find the glazing's not as neat as this one, and I bought this one at the coach store, um, but I think overall it's still really nice. Like, it's great craftsmanship. Okay, so opening the bag up, you have this fastener right here. The wonderful thing about this bag is the security of it. You, It's a push lock, so you've got the, almost kind of like the um, beat bag. You have this style of push pin lock, and it just goes straight in to the bag and secures close. Now, if you can't find this, and you're like, oh, I can't find it, this, has not really scratched for me and I have literally couldn't found, I couldn't find the hole for the um, thing to go into and it just kind of finds itself. So what I'm trying to say is this is very durable. This plate, it's not gonna scratch up horribly in my opinion. Like if you've owned a Pochette Matisse and trying to close that thing, you're gonna scratch it. Like. It's inevitable to scratch on the Pochette Matisse. This is like anti-scratch. I don't know, it's just pretty cool. Um, okay, so opening the bag up, it opens up so wide. It's so great. Um, this is a picture of my boss. Um, it's his business card, so. Um, you open this up and you have one compartment here in the front, the big main compartment, then you have, this is my favorite part. You have this little area that's like a pouch with a little magnet that secures it closed. And then you have another very tight slip pocket in the back. And that's it. So it's awesome for organization. The, um, to open this takes some effort because the leather is so thick and sturdy. Um, it's definitely gonna probably take some time to get malleable, but it's pretty stiff. Right up here, you do have the opposite sides of these hooks. So these things aren't going anywhere. They're anchored into this bag here on the flap. Um, again, you've got the glazing going all the way around the top here, and it's made very well. I'm not seeing any kind of issues with mine from opening and closing. Granted, I've used this bag often. I've used it a lot, um, but I have a lot of bags and I've had this bag now for four months and no problems with it. 
Um, there is one tiny thing I was gonna show you um, on the outside, but I'll get to that here in just a second. So here you've got the compartments and I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I fit in this bag right now. All right, so I wanna show you exactly what I put in here. Um, sorry guys, it's so dark. I have not been able to film in the daylight at all. Um, so here in the front, I have my coach card holder. I have inside this main area, I have a pair of glasses. I have a pair of sunglasses that are oversized. I have the coach turn lock card holder and I have my keys. In the back, I have my cell phone, okay? In this pocket, I have some lip um, products and other things. So I'm gonna go ahead, I wanna take everything out because I wanna show you that this bag really packs a punch and you can actually close it. Um, when you do close it, see how this bag expands? And it absolutely looks amazing. Like it looks so pretty. It's still not too bulky though. You know, like this is packed, I would say. This is pretty packed. Um, but yet when you do wear it crossbody, I think it still lays extremely slim line along your body. It's not, you know, huge and, you know, pushing outwards. So um, let me show you real quick what all. I've put in here. So I've got here in the front, I've got my card holder with many cards. It's very thick. Here on the top, I don't normally do this, but I did just lay my sunglasses here on the top. Um, here in the middle, it's, these are all in the middle compartment. I have my business card holder, my coach turn lock card holder. And then I have my keys, um, I have a fob and then an air tag on the keys. I have in here my regular reading glasses and a soft pouch. In this inside pocket, this is what I actually use for my catch-all. So I eliminate a catch-all and I use this little um, hidden awesome pocket. I have a buxom lip gloss. I have... Um, mascara travel mascara i have a chapstick and i have um, a lip product a lip gloss and then i don't have anything in this back pocket but sometimes i'll shove cash back there and then i've got my cell phone in the back so guys it really truly holds quite a decent amount i would say um because you know if you don't use a catch-all but you wanna use that little area there for either like a wallet, like you could tuck cards or cash in that back pocket, perfect. Or you can use that for, you know, products like lip products. It's great. So um, yeah, it's nice. I love how it expands. And honestly, I just really, really love the style. Um, and I love the sound of that clicking noise whenever the bag closes. <laughs> Um, okay, I wanna show you the one thing that I found the other day, and it kind of upsets me a little bit. Um, oh, I'm trying to see. Okay, can you guys see, if I get close here, I don't know if you can see it. There's like a tiny little dark speck right there above my finger. Okay, so a little, I must have nicked this bag in some way. So a little bit of the leather, is um, kind of peeled up a little bit. So I think what I'm gonna do is take this into coach and have him repair it. Um, so just be aware of that. Yes, it's very durable. Um, however, there might be like a thin coating of the color on this bag because I don't know, the, the leather literally is pushed upwards I can see it and then there's like a black speck there so that must just be like the leather within if that makes sense so I'm gonna have that fixed if they can't do anything about it I'm not sweating it because it's whatever I mean I notice it but I think from afar you can't really tell but I do want it right because this bag's still kind of newer to me so um, yes I do love the new bandit the bandit shoulder bag. 
Um, I bought the crossbody size. To me, it's a little too tiny. Um, it fits a phone, it fits a card holder, and it would fit your keys. I think beyond that, that's kind of it. It's like the bare essentials. But super cute, you know, extremely good craftsmanship. Um, I'm just floored by all the different colors that they have out now. They've got um, the Basquiat version is on sale right now, half price in this bag. Um, they have dark stone, they have black, they have, um, I think they have sport red, which is absolutely stunning. Um, so yeah, this is just a treat to have. I really love it. I think two is plenty for me. I would love to have a bunch of these, but you know, I think realistically, I think for me at least, and I don't know about you guys, but I think having more than two of the same style of bag can be more than I would really want. Like, I really like to have a little bit of a varied collection. Do you know what I mean? And if I start to just go on repeat with so many of the same bags, then it just kind of gets, ugh. Although, I mean, you guys have seen my collection videos. I've owned like six rogues. And I think that that might be a bag that I wouldn't mind having multiples of because it's a good one. Um, I've had like three Cassies. I can't believe that those left my collection because those are so hard to come by. Um, anyway, that's pretty much it. So um, let me know if you guys have any questions about the Bandit and um, yeah, if you own one of these, it'd be awesome to know in what color you got it in. So um, thanks again, guys, for all your likes and subscribes, and we'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.